And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Guide Rick Maxer. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup, right right next to the American Angler, right here. You can see it from the office right here in the world headquarters, and we have a great show for you today. Captain Brian Kiyohara, Captain Ray Lopez, and Lori with you from the American Angler. We're going to have a great show talking some serious fishing. You stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. The future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade. So swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport Boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cookup. What a great show today. It's like having family in the studio yeah, today. It's going to be is. a great time. Yeah. Really excited. And that's kind of the atmosphere that they give you on the American Angler. And good morning, lady and gentlemen. Hey, guys. Good morning. Great to morning. have you guys. Good morning, guys. Yeah, fantastic. And it all starts with you, Lori, in the office there. Uh, just being as friendly and courteous and follow-up is amazing. And you've been in this business for quite some time, haven't you? I, yeah, I, I have. Yeah, you kind of grew up with some guy named Lance, right? I, I did, yeah, yes. you, of course, your dad Lance with the from the Vagabond, and uh, and uh, and that's kind of how you were raised, right? On the on the sport fishing boats. It's true, and he's still passionate, and I'm still passionate. Yeah, about being down awesome. here. Is he still like going fishing? He is every day. He calls and asks if the Daily Double is up and running yet. They're still doing boat work. So he, he, he wants to go. Good. He wants to go with uh, Fred and the bank, gang oh, on yeah. there. Yeah, oh, yeah they're oh. good. Too. Yeah, well, great. Lance is uh, Lance many times was on Let's Talk Hookup back in the early days there and talking about the all the all the sport fishing. And you were like, you were working in the galley back way back when, right? I was. Yeah, we were just talking about albacore fishing when yeah. the boat left at eleven at night and good times. That's yeah, cool. <laughs> and now you are owner of uh, part owner of the American Angler, and you work uh, the office and stuff and. Uh, 
keep people happy. That's your job, right? True. Grateful. Love it. Best partners ever. Yeah. yeah. We're still sure. having a good time. So now yeah. always find a spot for a guy on a trip that sold out. Like everybody always talks about, like, oh, I, I, I made it happen. I got my phone call. It's on. You know, <laughs> I hear about it all the time. Awesome. Like, no, I, I have to tell you just because everything's full for the entire fleet, but wait lists are golden totally. to us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because things change. It's a dynamic situation. And so yeah. somebody gets hurt. People to, yeah, yeah. I encourage people to call and get on a wait list. I've already been you utilizing it a lot oh yeah. yeah yeah so you guys are all your all your trips are full for the the year for right now but again right it's a now. dynamic situation yeah, totally. so yeah. get on the list <laughs> i mean yes. I, was, I wasn't just saying that that happened a couple of days ago a guy came in so fired up i got my phone call it's on i'm going you know and it was and you know he said exactly that Lori called me and uh you know like you say things things it, things always happen yeah so yeah that wait list is very 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 important, important. yeah yes. So, Ray, Brian, uh, what's happening with the American yeah. Angler? You want to kind of fill us in? Uh, here, pointing at each other. <laughs> Come on, Brian. We're uh, experienced a sp- supply chain train. Oh. It, it, it lives and it's around. <clears throat> um, we're in, we're in the currently repowering all of our machinery. Wow. About three weeks ago, we had our engine room gutted, except for our in- refrigeration systems on the back wall. And... Uh, we're starting to go the other way now. We have generators, and you know we're starting to install, re- reinstall all the steering the other so day. So two new generators, two new generators, two transmissions, two main engines. Wow, wow, and that's a serious yeah, project. And for anyone that's remodeled their kitchen yeah. with their alongside their lovely wives, it's it's. What do you guys want? Do you guys want yeah, this one, right? or do you guys want this one? You know? <laughs> and so you know. Pretty much everything that's going back in the engine room is going back new. Wow. And just... Fresh canvas. Fresh yeah, canvas. Yeah, what a fun start really? it's got to be. It, it, it has been, and, you know, it's been frustrating at times. Sure. The old adage of a project being double the time, double the money on the waterfront here would get you ballpark. So, Pete, we're going to redo the office. It's going to be one week and $2,000. So if you went home and, and you planned it to be two weeks and four thousand dollars, you know it'd get you ballpark. But that equation is now out out of the picture. Yeah, it's, everything is so it's just, crazy. It, it's just nuts. And every single passenger that I see, you know, because I see a lot of our customers because the docks are busy. Yeah. Right. So I see, oh, I'm going on the Intrepid, or I'm going with Andrew, I'm going with Taro, and you know, and it's. Everyone I talk to, no matter what occupation they are, they're experiencing the same thing from aerospace to, to yeah. us lowly fishermen. Yeah. It's sure. It's, but the good news is when the project's done, you're going to be tier three compliant with the new regulations in California, and uh, you'll be good. You know, that, that that's the plus side of this whole thing. You know, we're enduring, um, you know, we're losing some a few charters, you know, having to cancel them. Uh, thankfully, one of our charters just got on the island. I, John John oh, texted cool. me this morning. But with this huge project in our past, it's it's next year we're going to be fired up, ready to go. And hopefully, knock on wood, we're going to be ready to go. One of the first guys ready in the fleet from you know the next upcoming years. How do you go about a project? like you, you, you made such a great analogy saying you have the blank canvas and you get to kind of pick whatever you want. Do you, do you go with something that's similar to what you had that clearly gave you, you know, such great operation over the years? Do you pick something brand new because the technology changes? Like, how do, you, how do you make decisions that way? You know, I mean, the American Angler has such a great track in history. Like, you don't want to steer too far away from what got you there, but, you know, things change. And if you bought the same computer that you bought two years before, it's, it's obsolete. Like, how do, you, how, do you, how do you go down that road? I'm, I'm not fascinated by it. Brian and I sit a lot, lot together in the engine room. <laughs> I'll bet. Stare at each other. And we, we pretty much come to agreement on a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's, – it's one of those things that's like, why – cheese out and go back with maybe the old you know if you you know just you get to do it you're gonna do it do, do it. it yeah spin the extra little dough and just do it do it right i i think a lot of it too is it's just myself Lori, and ray we've all been around the waterfront for so many years and the relationships that we've developed down here right um d finley is our is our mechanic mm-hmm. and amazing he, guy he he recommends certain machinery sure. There's a, the Greg Hibbs down here. There's Tom Dale, admin. These these guys keep 
the fleet running. Totally. And so how we decided on putting Scania's in and, and to win this is, is a lot of just listening to their advice mm-hmm. and also seeing what's been working in the fleet. So we are repowering with the exact same machinery as our neighbors who are our family. It's it's Mike Lackey and, you know, the whole yeah. Lance Withy, Lori Withy, Mike Lackey, whole family tree. And they've had that machinery in there for four years and have had exceptional luck with it. That's awesome. The Liberty uh, has had those engines in there for eight or nine years. And I keep telling Taro to slow down, but, you know, (laughs) these younger, aggressive kids, they they drive those boats hard and fast, and and they've taken it. Yeah. So they're already tier tier three compliant. Yes. Wow. Yes. Like like the Vagabond, it's Mike sitting there all painted, shiny, and tier three compliant, and it's just... That's our inspiration. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And what's so cool is uh, all three of your partners in the boat, and it's a team, right? You guys all work together so well, right, Lori? We do. I, I have yeah. to tell you, Brian and Ray have been so dedicated and diligent. They've been working long, hard hours, and they've been planning everything in advance. They, they're they together all day long, and they've been working hard since... I mean, since the boat, late, since the last trip, just planning and preparing, they're making this happen. I'm sure you are, too. <laughs> Brian will admit, but certainly uh, it's a team effort. Oh, it, it is. And it, it's just the basic law. You know, one of the rules is owner-operated. It's yeah. let's talk hook up. Right. Pete Gray. Right. Fisherman's Landing. Yeah. Doug Kearns. Rick. You know, Rick. It's the same thing. So when you come here, it's... You call the office, you're talking to an owner. No matter what fishing trip you're going on, it's the owner's driving, yeah. whether it be myself or Ray or and it's just going yeah. to the liquor store that's owner operated versus, you know, a fifteen dollar an hour guy that's you know, not fully into it. Right. Just looking at his watch. How how much longer? Yeah. So for sure. So how did we get to uh where we are today? Fortunately, let's talk a little bit about like the unsung heroes or maybe some of the sung heroes that helped the San Diego sport fishing fleet and the entire fleet of California actually get to where we are today to be able to say, hey, we have a future. It, 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 it's crazy. You know, it's, we've been a SAC member since we owned the Pacific Queen 26 years ago. And since then, I've, I'm on the SAC board of representatives. You know, I'm kind of the silent one that just... I disseminate information around the dock and and when it needs to be disseminated, but what the younger generation and probably a lot of our customers or all of our customers don't realize that we are operating because of a few special people. Ken Frankie from SAC, you know, Don Hansen, God bless his soul, but there's Buzz Brizendine, our charter, you know, our treasurer, Franker City, huge, Jamie Diamond. She is just phenomenal up there in Santa Barbara. Very, Tim, very proactive. Tim Ekstrom, fluent in Spanish, dedicating a lot of his time fighting for our cause in Mexico. Yeah. Um, the, the CCA guys. There's so many oh, yeah. people behind the scenes that we wouldn't be gaffing a bluefin up in the bow. Rick wouldn't be selling the Talica. We wouldn't be talking here in the right. show with you, Pete. What a great point. It, it is just... There's so many people be. What would you call them, Ray? The uh, harbor heroes. The harbor heroes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's the truth, and, right? And it's yeah. behind yeah. the scenes. These guys are fighting for us. And yeah. A lot of times, well, my my crew members hear about it because you know we talk about it all the time. But there's a lot of crew members and probably even boat owners that don't realize how, how much, much time and effort goes into all of this behind yeah. the scenes. And not as grateful as they should be because it's basically their business that all these people are saving. Yes, and and it's big picture. Of of course, there's decisions that go down that might hurt a certain individual here and there. But big picture, whom the association and CCA, everyone's fighting for. I mean, it's... I mean, there's always something between Coast Guard, State of California, Mexico. There's always something... Uh, like like some of the new compliant things with the uh, the watch the watch, watch thing alarms, and and, and then alarms. the smoke alarms and all that stuff. I attended that uh, seminar yesterday, and it's like, what's next, right? You, you know, there's there's some of us that are are good firefighters yeah. that put out fires, and there's some of us that are good at preventive, you know, preventing fires. 
I'll tell you, Ken and his team, like I said, his yeah. friend, the Franks and the Buzzes and the Tim, they're, they are not only excellent firefighters on scene put, putting out this raging fire that's going on, right? but also they have the, the foresight to see what's coming down the road and cutting those fire trails that, you know, el- eliminate the, these these huge fires that are that are potentially going to happen right. and and the guidance that we get as a fleet is just unbelievable you know yeah. it's like they they do a lot of of things with coast garden stuff sure. and have developed relationships that literally keeps the fleet going you guys might pull into the parking lot and go oh my god there's no parking this and that and that's a, the biggest problem that, yeah that, that's a good thing yeah. because that's a good yeah. problem yeah because yeah. trust me there's a lot of issues that the guys behind the scenes take care of us for us all yeah for sure speaking of parking i should warn um listeners that are coming to san diego coming up uh, all those free spots that were happening i saw them putting uh the structures up for the meters so that's coming soon right Ooh. yeah so um just be aware that uh when you do park in those 72 hour spots or whatever they're going to start metering and charging for those parking spots i don't know what the date is but it'll be this summer at some point so just just don't want people to come down and be shocked it, it's 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 something that we've got a free ride for the last couple of years so uh no the, the, so now they're going to start charging for those spots yeah. So, but anyway, um, like you say, the 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 unsung heroes, especially Ken Frankie, that guy just is nonstop. Uh, he must work seven twenty four. I mean, it's like he doesn't. He just doesn't stop. He's un- unbelievable. Yeah, and he's and, unbelievable. Yeah, and I know. Go ahead, Lori. His wife Karen is a saint. Oh, she, she is. is. <laughs> yeah, and she right. she has to come visit him in the office down here. I see Karen all the time. Yeah, that's the perfect sure. example of the things that we don't realize yeah. and understand. And and she is. Yeah, for sure. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about. I guess the fish are biting. Uh, you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're really biting. I saw Marcus Medak yesterday. He goes, "They're biting." This oh, has been like... so much fun. It's been so much fun too, like watching it, you know, develop and get rolling, and and then you know all of the things that often happen that you know, you know you get nervous about when the fishing is good, and all of a sudden here comes a blow, or here comes some some here comes some of this weather, and here comes some of that water, and this fish has just bit through it every time you know it's like oh man we'll see what it's like after this win oh, it was limits before it it was limits during it it's limits after it it's just it's been so good and there's so much fun stuff to talk about and to cover and boy talking about having the gang from the angler near what great timing it's just going to be a great show and we want to hear from you man if you want to give us a call this morning shoot us a call at 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 that's how you reach us here on let's talk hookup or send us a text the text the show option so popular now on Let's Talk Hookup. The only way to send your text in is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download. Not only is it the only way to text the show, but you can listen to archive shows, find out about an upcoming guest, all kinds of great Let's Talk Hookup information. Totally free, no spam, no BS. Just a great way to participate in part of Let's Talk Hookup. And again, when you do send your text in, make sure you include your contact info, your name and your phone number, because if you're the lucky winner, the big prize will need it to call you back. It's not like texting a normal phone number where your info just pops right up. So, again, lots of great info coming today. Your phone calls at 213-432-1090 or text the show. And, man, do we have a killer prize for you today. We talked about it earlier with uh, Captain Taro and those guys zipping around. Somebody's going to get to go fishing on a full-day trip on board the Liberty at a Fisherman's Landing. Fish with Taro and Evil on a great trip. And one lucky caller or texter will be winning that at the end of the show. And, basically, we take every phone call that makes it on the air, every text that gets read on the air, we'll pull two potential winners out of those two groups. Lori's going to flip a coin for us at the end of the show, and that'll determine whether the winner comes from the caller side or the texter side. But one lucky caller or texter today's show going fishing on board the Liberty. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, they're doing some trips, so time to go fishing. No doubt, man. When we come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk hookup coming your way. We're going to be taking your phone calls. we got great catch reports and a whole lot about the American Angler. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California sport fishing voice on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. This is Pete, and I hear it 
it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top-notch. Get it fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Hayden Lane here from Fast Lane Kayaking, and I got to tell you about all the rad new stuff we have in the shop, like the fully updated new line of Hobie inflatable kayaks, the iTrek series. Hobie took the best selling i11s and made it even better, then added new models like it, like the new iTrek 9 that weighs just 37 pounds, fully rigged, packs into a small bag with wheels, and fits just about anywhere. And on the water, this thing performs featuring a super wide and flat hull shape that is stable and an elevated beach chair style seat that is comfortable. Or the all new Hobie Mirage Lynx. Inspired by the shape of the inflatable kayaks, Hobie made a durable and ultralight hard top model. It's the missing link. It looks like a hybrid of a stand up paddleboard and a kayak. And the best part, at just 45 pounds, the hull weighs about half as much as similar sized kayaks. And it's stackable. Pile them up on your roof rack or your truck bed. You gotta see this thing. Stop by the shop right on the water in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay. Or check us out online at fastlanekayaking.com. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. Spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down, fly back, 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619 224 4764. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, Pinnacle Sport Fishing. Visual signs are one of our most important aspects to our charter fishing business. It's the reason myself and all of our crew all wear Costa sunglasses. With advanced polarization technology, Costa is designed to help cut through the sun's glare while providing enhanced color and comfort to help you see more fish. Costa was founded over 35 years ago by a group of fishermen wanting high-performance lenses for every fishing application. Costa has a West Coast-style frame and lens for your pursuit. Check them out at costasunglasses.com. The giant Captain Rollo's used tackle sale is back. Join us Saturday, April 30th at Seaforth Landing for our biggest sale ever. Doors open from 11 to 3. Come early for best selection, and we will see you there. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Well, every single phone line is packed. Yeah, We've got a ton of great texts. It's going to be oh, a great yeah. show. Lots of fun today. Just heard Tim Baker. You think they're lining up for the Captain Rollo's uh, big tackle sale today yeah, yet? See, no I'll, doubt there's I'll not a there's, line already. Uh, there's already there. Starts at 11 o'clock today at C4 Sport Fishing. Goes till 3. Uh, it's the largest tackle sale they've ever had by far. There's not even a comparison, and it's going to be huge. So over at C4 Sport Fishing, plenty of free parking. And uh, I can tell you that the guys have been busily working over there for the last couple of days oh, getting yeah. things ready. Yeah, it's uh, going to be a big event. I'm jump over there and say hi to the guys uh, later on this this morning. And uh, so at 11 o'clock. But again, you want first selection, you better start thinking about going down there and getting in line by I don't know, no later than 10. I'd say probably nine or 10. Just head down, man. Yeah, Hang yeah. Down. Get down there and go check. Also. Um, Good luck to all the participants in our Let's Talk Hookup a Loretto Rumble that starts tomorrow. Looking forward to flying down uh, early tomorrow morning down to Loretto to join the gang and cast, man. And uh, just got a great text to start things off from uh, Marcos in Costa Mesa. He says he has a fresh fish report from the Hotel La Mission. He's in Loretto right now. He says fishing still a bit slow, but some nice yellowtail to 32 pounds were caught yesterday. Most common tactics were trolling mackerel with the 
the reverse dropper loop and jigging iron near the bottom. Beautiful weather. And he says, good luck to all in the tournament. Nice. That's from Mark. Yeah, so um, that's good news because it's been slow for yellowtails. Good cabrillo fishing and stuff like that. But the weather looks beautiful. Cervezas are going to be cold. What could it? What? Mm-hmm. My favorite uh, taco uh, shop in yeah. all of Mexico oh, is yeah. in Loretto. Oh, like, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. spot, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. That, so good luck to everybody. And uh, I got some text from Cass yesterday uh, finishing his Pesca Panama trip. And they had some... Um, 200 pounders, some 100 pounders, and uh, of course, Dr. Gary got one of the 200 pounders. He's also got a 100 pound uh, amberjack. Oh, and wow. uh, yeah, Jeez. so they had a great Pesca Panama How trip. Cool. So he's back to back trips and he's flying home this morning. So we won't hear from Cass this morning. Uh, but that. That, that's going to be uh, that guy's tough, man. He's 82 years old and back to back trips, man. He's tough. Gets back from Panama tonight at like 10 o'clock and then gets on the airplane tomorrow morning to go down Loretto with you guys. Yeah, yeah that's our an flight's animal. at 6:45 from CBX. So yeah, <laughs> that's, an, that's an early morning. Yeah, for sure. Let's go ahead and jump into the phones. You They're packed. It. They're packed and excited to talk to the gang. Let's start with Vinny. He's calling us from Carlsbad this morning. Hi, Vinny. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I'm going on a three day uh, fishing trip in June. Um, and I'm wondering what size hooks do you recommend that I bring and what, what size, uh, what three rods would you bring? What, what, what do you recommend? Like ranging, like a heavy medium and a kind of a light, what would you bring? You know, I, I bet you Rockcock could probably give you the exact numbers. I'm pretty terrible with it, but you know, to be honest, hook size, I mean, you could pretty much bring everything you got just because we don't know exactly what size of the bait might be then, you know, it might have a mix of anchovy and sardines or you could have straight sardines but um i might have to turn this one over to rick just because he knows the numbers well you you guys would know and you can comment much better hook size has been another thing that has changed it over has. the last couple of years it you has. know what i mean not long ago we didn't ever dream of fishing anything less than like a 2-0 size mm-hmm. hook you, for for anything for anything. kelpat yellowtail is a 2-0 and especially if we were targeting tuna that were 50 pounds and even 80 pounds, then it was a you know it was a four o as a as a minimum. Now we sell a you know a, a guy will look at a number two o like, that's a gaff hook. You know what, what am I even sure. going to do with that thing? You know it's just yeah. the you know the, the scale has seemed to change. So I mean, we a number two is now what a two o was just a few right. years ago. Depending but, on the brands too, it, so, I mean, totally. It's, 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 it's so. Crazy. So why do you think that is, Ray? I mean, why is it that? Is it because it's bluefin? Is that is that why? As, as far as as far as the hook size, I mean, why won't they eat a nice healthy sardine with a a one o or a two o hook in it versus a a number four? <laughs> it's like why don't they bite the jigs as good during yeah. the daytime? You know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's, it's just a it's, it's a weird gig. Yeah. But, I think they. I mean, I don't think they eat it any any less than they used to. But it's one of those things that a a, a smaller hook undoubtedly gets a, a bite better. But better. you know, the the bigger the purchase that the hook is in the fish, the better your odds of that thing coming aboard. There's no doubt. But you know, like it, bluefin get touchy and it's harder to get a bite. And so there's you know you, you start going through the list of things to scale down. And one of one of the things that probably gets ignored the most is just not realizing that you sometimes you do have to just put your time in and your your opportunity does come like that's probably the that's probably the thing that everybody ignores like if I'm not getting a bite it's because of this reason like sometimes it sometimes it isn't because of everything your your ticket just hasn't been pulled yet but the the thing that you can do to change your odds that are probably affect you the least is is going down a little bit in hook size. You know, you don't want to sure. do that extreme because then you start to go the other way. Um, but you know, a smaller hook is probably going to do you a little better than lighter line. Brian, you, you have some guess, thoughts on that? I, I, I was going to get your guys. I, I, I think what brought that back on the map is was two seasons and three seasons and four seasons ago, where there was a lot time frames where we would just have cracker, small real small, sardine. real small sardines, yeah. and. <clears throat> first time on the boat that i've seen number four hooks since the anchovy days you know we see number fours and number sixes and 15 pound all the time and so those years that we had cracker even on our 14 15 day trips you know we that's what we, the size of the bait yeah. is and so we've adapted and, and used smaller hooks so i would definitely have those fours twos size ones in in your arsenal and it's one of those things, as long as the fish aren't over, like, 35 pounds, you can get away with a, a number two hook. And 
once you start getting bigger than 40, 50 pounds, then you got to start thinking a little bit deeper into the, the old style two aught, three aught, you know, size hook. But yeah. What about you guys? J hook, circle hook? Do you have a preference? Is it does it does it vary based on what you're fishing for and line and all that kind of stuff? I think this kind of goes in relation with what Brian just said. Depending on the size of fish, you know, you could personal preference you know if you're fishing fish under 50 pounds you can get it with the j hook no problem but once you start scaling up to that you know 60 plus pound range i prefer circle hook you know corner of the mouth type of thing the abrasion you know that sort of thing so you know i could probably talk about it for a while but you know i personally if that were me i would be fishing the circle hook on 60 pounds or better and you can get away with you know a j hook on anything smaller got it Right. And how about the three outfits? Is what I mean, not you know, not necessarily model numbers, but what a yeah. what size what size gear would be right? You know, if it was me leaving right now on on what's going on in the world, it'd probably be a twenty five pound outfit, a forty pound outfit, and maybe a you know fifty pound outfit, and just go from there. You know, if if you need if you need to throw on thirty pound just to kind of scale it up a little bit, you could use on either or side. Yeah. So that would probably be universal all around. I, I'd, I'd be a twenty five pound. A forty pound and a sixty pound with you know your sixty or eighty would be uh, your you know your nighttime arsenal, but you know hundred pounders during the daytime. I talked to Bug the other day, and the guys that had had the same schools, big old giant schools, and at nighttime those twenty five to forty pounders are raining on. Daytime this very same schools, and by the time the San Diego gets there. <laughs> And they activate a little bit, and those 25 to 40 pounders aren't biting. Everything that they're hooking is 50 to 80 pounds. Oh, really? You know, but it, they see them in the same school. You know, sure. a lot of times, you know, you pull up to those breezers, you could see fish shining. And, and so they see those smaller fish shining, but all they're hooking during the daytime are those bigger ones. Huh. And then he'll call in Renee hey Renee I'm seeing incredible sign you know here and then show gonna show up and as it's getting dark next thing you know they're railing in at night and they're straight 25 to 40 pounders hmm. and you know a lot of times we've seen that vice versa where you see bigger fish that just don't bite in the same school they're mixed but what they're trip. mixed in there That's and cool. they just don't bite Bite. You have to ask the bluefin why, right? <laughs> I'm bluefin. Yeah, yeah, I'm done asking They're bluefin. That. Yeah, I'm done asking Laurie that says it. Yeah, for sure. Hey, hope that answers your question. Thanks a lot for the call. That does free up for the first time in a while here since we got on the air. 213-432-1090. You want to get through? There's your shot. All right. Hey, we had a great text come through. Uh, this one said, oops, as I, of course, as I, uh, I popped it off. Uh, it says, the other, other than jumping on the wait list, what's the best way to get on and fish with the American angler? When does the 2023 schedule come out and do you ever have periodic like new trips or charters that may not already have a list of passengers that have gone from the year before um also what happens uh if there's a cancellation i just want to come fishing with you guys that's from mike in san juan capistrano hi mike how you doing so what happens is we pretty much ray and i sit down and put the schedule together in august and it's really the only fair way to do it as trips come back this year I, I get a tally of who's coming back and who's not and that's when we have spots and so i would say from now to august is a good time to call to look at her spots in 2023 because literally the same day when people leave they clean their fish they're out of here i call the people on the wait list for the following year and go ahead and put them on and for 200 dollars you get your spot and it's kind of how we work it so first rider refusal comes from the guys that get off the boat and then everything else is who's waiting yeah so you don't really start your booking until that trip ends right i let the guy i mean yes so right. the guys that are out so you fishing. can't book 2023 right now you have so are the so right now i've already got a wait list for the very first trip we've got an eight day rockies opener that leaves on june 5th okay and i've got a couple of guys that want to jump on it next year so i've got their names written down and gotcha. when the trip gets back it seems like a lot of pressure but it's kind of the way we have oh, to do perfect. it sure. so the guys are they'll come up and there's five six guys that won't be returning and so i'll pick up the phone and call the guys that want to go 2023 and add them to the list yeah and so there's always yeah there's there's Plenty of, plenty of opportunity Talk to get on twenty twenty three. That's yeah. the key, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And well, thank two hundred bucks on your wait list, kind of secure. Two hundred dollars secures your spot. 
Once, you, yeah, that yeah. puts you on, okay. and, and then we ask for in January fifty percent. So, so you don't have to pay anything to be on the wait list. No, 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 no. Okay. no but just yeah. to get you, just to, once you say, once you call them up and say, I got you in. Yes. Send me two hundred bucks, and yes. you're in. All right. Correct. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the phone. You got it, Michael and Ventura's up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. I would like to wish all of you a good morning, all five of you, and I have a question for Brian. Um, Sounds like you've got a lot of work to do, but when you get your rig up and running, uh, could you explain your uh, autumn trips and your winter trips, what length of trips you have planned and where you're planning to uh, depart and to return to? Thank you. Spider Mike, we worked together on the Royal Players in 1992. Wow. And we were at Clarion. We had three over 300 <laughs> and I think 28 over 200. Oh, my. And I think it was Tim Ekstrom's first long trip that he ever ran, and I believe it was a May trip. Am I close? Yeah, we, we were close. We were also uh, on uh, the February uh, Bob's Long Range. Spider Mike. The, um... <laughs> so, cool. it, yeah. anyhow, it, 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 cool. it's our falls or eight to ten day trips. Um we 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 start them in October and fish October, November, December. We are currently changing our kind of our our business model, our our schedule. We had a couple of, of fourteen and fifteen day trips January and February, and we are no longer going to do those. We are going to concentrate on doing our maintenance during that time because. The build pool days that we were talking about before. Yeah, boys, you know, July 4th, go 80, 80 miles at 180 degrees and go find them tuna. And so now it's different. It's look what's happening today. And, Let's start in March, right? And, oh, yeah. and, and yeah, so March. that that earlier call that we had, like, yeah. oh, how, do, how do I get on the boat? Well, the last three springs that we did, we ran open party day and a half trips out of Point Loma Sport Fishing. And I think last year we ran 25 of them or something like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. And so this is like, okay, we're going. Who wants to sign up? So people that are interested totally. in the American Angler or whatever, it's like, I'm going to go try that. Be part of the family. And it's, you know. That, I got to do that. that. And I loved it. It was great. So that's what yeah. we plan, plan on doing. That's going to be our business strategy, our business model to, you know, for sure by this time be ready to go, but earlier. You yeah. know, the old, you know, March, you know, if weather permits, whether it's fish and yellowtail or, or bluefin or whatever Mother Nature provides, you know, we, we want to take people fishing. So it's that, a, it's a, and when you go on the American Angle, it's a different level. And that's the cool thing. And that's what your guys are trying to show people is this is not. Not your one, maybe a trip that you're used to going on a day, a regular day and a half or a regular day trip. It's a different level of, of customer service, uh, fishing, expertise, uh, food, uh, accommodations, the, all the way up and down. You, you know, we've all been in the business since we were teenagers yeah. in high school, the three of us. And I, I think we've all realized that it's not... The amount of fish you catch. Hey, I caught this many. How right. many did you get that? It, it doesn't matter. No. You know, it, it's the fish counts, you know, the old Bill Pool, you know, the Prowler caught 47 of them, and that Loan over there only caught 45. You know, the, <laughs> you know those days are gone. It, it's, it's now people, time is more precious. And so when they dedicate their time to go sport fishing, sure, they want to catch a fish, but they also want the bathrooms to be clean. The per- crew members would be professional and courteous. They they just want to have a nice good shower time. after yeah. they're finished, getting ready for a exactly. gourmet meal, exactly. and all that stuff, right? You, know, you just want to have a good time. So and, you spoil this experience. is what you're saying, right? Well, that we've learned that that's you know what people want, yeah. and, and we try and provide it. Uh, I, I like it. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Hey, um, um, uh, thanks a lot for the call, by the way. Nice to hear from you, Spider. Um, that was cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> um, so a Spider he, Spider was a, a deckhand? Yes. He was a deckhand. Yeah, so Spider, he used to fish with us on and off. Yeah. He was a construction worker, or still is, up there in Ventura. And so when we would need help, because we, we ran back then. Yeah, right. How eight, different nine, dynamic that is. Ten long trips, because th- there was no fishing until yeah. July locally. So. Yeah. 
uh, when I worked for Frank for 10 years, it's we would start our first long trip every November, yo, 16 day, and it would just continue on all the way through May. Long trip, long trip, long trip. And then we had those three lagoon trips where we got to, you know, pet the whales and stuff like that. But otherwise, it was full speed. And so... And how many... I mean, just a, another dynamic of things that change. Uh, how many people would go on some of those long trips, like oh, the open I, party trips? I've been to Clarion with 41 people. <laughs> oh! Oh! Our, our, you know, we used to carry 36, and then it limited load to 28, and... Wow. I, I, I'm a fan of deck boots. <laughs> More the merrier to me. Yeah. It's just, it's just all, you, all these light loads, you get tired of looking at each other. You, <laughs> you, you, you need to have that guy on the boat, and you need to just, you know, you just yeah. need to have all the, every different color covered. How many do you carry on the American Angle, Roy? It depends on the short trips, 28, on um, five days, up to five days, 26, and then after that, 24 for the, on the longer trips. Nice. Brian liked to, liked to have 40 on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> we only have 32 bunks. <laughs> uh, hey, um, uh, interesting text. I have to read this because it's pretty unusual, but it kind of says to what we're talking about here. My wife and I listen to music differently. She is mostly concerned with melody. I want to understand the lyrics. As fishermen, we mostly want to hear the melody, and the AA crew and Let's Talk a Couple afford us the ability to hear the lyrics behind the operations more clearly. Thank you. That's from Dan and Irvine. Well said. Cool, Dan. Yeah, yeah, that's kind awesome. Of a, kind of a cool deal. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk Huggo coming your way. We're also going to check in with the Catch Report coming up. We got all kinds of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. When you want to catch big bluefin tuna, you need Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle for professionals. The Shimano Beastmaster is the pinnacle of electric reels. Shimano's Gigamax motor packs a winding strength up to 250 pounds. Ideal for kite fishing and more. Shimano's butterfly flat fall jigs are irresistible to bluefin tuna because they stay in the strike zone longer. Shimano makes a complete line of butterfly flat fall jigs to target your favorite game fit. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Dana Landing in Mission Bay is the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Mia. Come see me and our expert staff for everything you need for your next fishing trip, food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop is certainly one of San Diego's finest. We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna and people that can help you get set up right. We also have Dougie, one of the best reel repair guys around. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle, the best rods and reels. The hottest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. We now also have Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, both fresh and saltwater tackle, right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 Freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle take 94 to Broadway and Lemon Grove. And Dana Landing is right next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check danalanding.com for more details. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charter is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips, as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. Check out islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to one and one half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Great fishing. Fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polar Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. I'm by Fisherman for Fisherman in Mission Bay. 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Cookup. Having a great time here this morning talking fishing. If you want to join us, we would love to hear from you. Give us a call at 213-432-1090. Telling great stories here and a lot more to come from the crew at the American Angler. And uh, let's go over to Dana Landing right now and talk to our good buddy, Steve Pinar. Good morning, Steve. Hey, Steve. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, crew. And how are you guys? Doing great. I still can't believe how you do your HR. It's It's different. <laughs> Steve's got a lot of irons in the fire, shall no we doubt. say? Yeah, for sure. One of the irons in the fire he has is this getting ready, number one, for leaving for Loretto. He's going to Loretto with me tomorrow. Yeah, We're a team, up, man. Picking you up early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm um, going to start packing there soon. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, but he's also getting ready for the big summer kickoff sale uh, May 14th at Dana Landing, right, Steve? Right. You know, that's the reason I'm calling in. I know you've touched on it, but, uh, you know, on, on Saturday, May 14th, we're having our summer kickoff. You know, we used to kind of do something similar, mostly about bay bass in February. We decided to kind of move it back towards, uh, I want to say the kickoff of, of fishing, but that's already kind of happened. So, uh, yeah, we're just having a, you know, a, a, a fun event. Um, obviously starting with you guys at seven o'clock with a live broadcast. Um, we were actually got donated a, uh, a company that comes in and does bloody Mary. So it'll be a bloody Mary bar there for free. Um, nice. gonna, uh, that, yeah, what time so does that start? Hopefully after the broadcast. Uh, about halfway. Okay. Eight o'clock. No boy. No boy. Yeah. Oh, it's going to loosen up that grip when it comes to buying that new Talica. I can tell you that much right now. You know, you know, give me, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take two of them. You know, why not? Well, if that doesn't work, we have salty crew beer for the rest of the day, too. Okay, hey, there it is. Yeah. Something's going to work. A um, couple seminars. You know, I, Corey's going to do one. On inshore fishing, and awesome. this, this, a, a lot of this has to do with Dwayne Diego, you know, on pinnacle sport fishing, and he is going to do a seminar um, on fishing the California flyer for bluefin. I'm sure that will encompass everything with bluefin. So, a couple seminars there. Then Traeger Grills will be there. I believe it's Rory is coming in as me cooking us. There'll be a free a free lunch. That'll probably knock off around, you know, 12 or something. We'll do a little lunch, um, and you know, we're probably going to wrap this up early. Uh, probably one o'clock or something so just you know let everyone come check it out early and get up to do what they want um but we're gonna have i think it's gonna be 30 booths or something and the standard you know pretty much everyone you know everyone will be there so it should be yeah. fun. We uh, in typical we will do you know we're doing like fifteen um, percent off all clothing and that includes all footwear and sunglasses. Fifteen um, percent off all Yeti drinkware. I mean a lot of this stuff. Wow, is stuff that doesn't go on sale. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, you know, same kind of what you know the going on. Uh, you know, buy you know buy two jigs get one free. Buy hooks buy two get one free. Um, Free Spectre on any reel we sell. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a great event. It's going to so, be a great awesome. event. And that's uh, two yeah. weeks from today, believe it or not. Saturday, okay. May 14th. Uh, and it's a Dana Landing. Kick, and the store opens uh, for the sale at what time, Stephen? We'll be op- we'll be open at 6. Like, so everything will kind of kick off at 7. It's going to okay. take us a little to get like everything going. Like when we go on um, the air, we'll get things rolling. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just, th- those, those deals will go through the day. And likely um, but, your your last opportunity to get a deal that good, you know, yeah. deals on everything the 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 free spectra on the reels and the hooks and the the, jigs the line and, and all all that kind of stuff. Likely your best your last opportunity to get something like that going into you know what will be full speed summertime. I mean, this is kind of like the last this is the last opportunity yeah. at getting the killer deal. That's it. Yeah, and it's uh, it's yeah, going to be 100%. a fun day and and some great seminars too. Dwayne Diego talking about the California Flyer and of course Corey Sandin, our our buddy uh, and co-host here uh talking mc swim baits and calico bass fishing it's all and it's the cool thing is is it's all happening like right then you know it's yeah. things are, it's not yep. like you have to wait for very long it's like the summer kick and that's why it's the summer kickoff it's it's it may still be spring but it's the summer kickoff but one thing i want to mention too is steve and i are both on the board for uh captain rollo's kids at sea uh don't forget uh today would be again the Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, Friends of Rollo, a huge tackle sale right across the street from Dana Landing there at C4 Sport Fishing. You want to be sure to be there, and I know Steve will be popping by. I'll be popping by, and uh, that's a that's a great event. But, yeah, mark your calendar. Saturday, May 14th, uh, summer kickoff sale and sounds like a party uh, at Dana Landing <laughs> in Mission Bay, right? 
You got it. You got it. Now, it's just a touch on that tackle sale. There is so much great tackle. You know, a lot of times you go to some of these tackle swap meets, it's a lot of junk. A lot of the stuff getting donated goes in high stored at Dana Landing. I mean, just the other day, a guy rolled in. He goes, I got some reels. And it was like a dozen internationals. I mean, there is quality stuff down there. So oh, I yeah. hope to see everyone down there and on the 14th. And all the money today goes to Kicking Kids Fishing. So that's what's cool, yep. too. And, and uh, Dave, uh, Steve, looking forward to seeing you bright and early in the morning. And uh, t- we're going to be the team to be reckoned with on the Yellowtail down there. You watch. Down there. <laughs> Hardcore. We're going to get them, for sure. You know all it. Right. All right, Steve, all right, thanks, thanks a lot. Guys. Looking forward to the sale and the live broadcast. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. That's awesome. Ah. Thanks. All right. Hey, let's jump right back into the phones. They're packed up. How about John calling us from Dallas up next here on Let's Talk Hook Up? Good morning, John. Good morning, guys. Uh, exciting fishing coming up. Uh, got a three day going with Renee, and uh, I'm just excited. So, uh, how's the American Angler uh, staterooms, or do they have staterooms? The American Angler, do you have staterooms? Yeah, we, we have uh, thir- 12 staterooms, uh, two and three man staterooms for a total of 32, correct? Correct. But you don't carry any more than 28. 28. Right. Yeah. And so basically um, how that works is you would call in and get on the boat and talk to Lori, and she would work it out as far as bunks and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, all the staterooms got vanities and fresh water running through them and cold and hot. and Extremely comfortable. Extremely comfortable yeah. and good size as well, too. I would have to say that's probably – one of the biggest things I hear about our staterooms is our good size bunks. Staterooms are very, very comfortable. Yeah. And and all the linens and everything else, right, Lori? Yeah, everything's, everything's yes. taken care of. Double sheets and comforters and pillow. And different size bunks. So if you're seven foot, we've got the tall, long man bunks. Or if you're a little bit more on big guy, triple wide bunks. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah, and you'll... You'll appropriately people put people in the appropriate bunks. Try to want Try everybody to. to be comfortable. Yeah, for sure. The Tetris master, like knowing all of Steve likes. Steve likes you know stateroom number four, but I got to put it here. You know, like I. Oh, it's a chest. I game. bet. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, She's that, a wizard. I at know it. that. She's oh, a yeah. wizard. <laughs> yeah, Lord, no, it you, makes everybody happy all the time. You will not be disappointed if you go on the American. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to make everybody sure. happy. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Don't we you try. do a pretty yeah. darn good job, doesn't she, Brian? She does. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Hey, we had a great text here. This one is from uh, Keith, and uh, it says, I'm a huge fan of um, fish processing and fish care in the boat. I keep hearing uh, a lot lately about the Ikejime process. Uh, Brian, I was wondering if you thought that that ever had a practical spot on a long-range boat, and how do you handle fish care, especially during a wide-open bite? I, I, I've seen our customers doing the Ikejime thing on, on these longer trips, you know, Days that were fishing quality fish, and you know the ultimate goal to, goal is to catch twenty or twenty five fish, and so they're not coming aboard as fast as we'd like. Um, I, I think one of the things that makes the American angler stand out is the quality of our fish. Oh yeah, and it's they're pre, it, it comes out primo, yeah. and so when this Ikejimi thing first came out. It's it's been around a long time, right? A long, 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 long time, and so I would ask all three processors, can you tell the difference between the guys that stick the wire in it and the guys that don't? And they said, you know, honestly, Brian, we cannot. At, uh, by the time the processors mm-hmm. get it, um, aboard the American Angler, it's like everything over forty pounds pretty much gets gill and gutted as quickly as possible um we bleed everything this, this comes from the our pacific queen days and ray on the on the neil Wan. we we were just adamant about bleeding everything and whenever an albacore would show up on the fillet board and you'd stick your six inch in it and the blood would come out it boy i would be upset because you could totally see the difference. You mean in the a- the after when it comes time to fillet it when you when exactly. you, you start filleting and there's blood it's that's still in there. Yeah. it bummed you out. It bummed so it out. makes a difference when you oh, when you bleed it, them, it, it, it gut them. Huge. Yeah. yeah so sure. just you know that Iki Jimmy, I, I I've been listening to the show. I know it's real popular and stuff, but but mainly just not bruising the fish, mm-hmm. getting it bled, getting in a fish hold situation where they're not smashing each other. Um. Plenty of ice. Plenty of ice. And, you know, I, I've been guilty of a lot of 
uh, you know, slaughters or massacres is, you know, good fishing. Mm-hmm. And being the guy wield, wielding the fillet knife and the, the blue bags and the, and the big, you know, piling fillets on top of each other, I could honestly say I'm not very proud of those moments. What we have going now in modern times, the way that fish gets handled on all the boats, up to the processors, it's it's the product now is better than I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's awesome. And 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 more of it gets eaten and not wasted too. Yes. Yeah, I think that's one of the keys there. Hey, uh, good text. Thanks a lot. Let's go ahead and jump back on the phone. You got it. How about Ryan and Irvine next up, next up here on Let's Talk Hookup? Hi, Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, guys. Uh, I have a quick story about the American angler. Um, so me and my dad were avid fishermen. We go out a lot. And um, whenever we see that the fish are biting, I'll, I'll try to find a trip for this month. And, uh, you know, whenever some of the trips on the American Angler are, are booked out, I'll go up to my dad and say, hey, you know, um, if you still want to go fishing, the American Angler is booked out. We can go somewhere else. And my dad will say no. And I ask him why. <laughs> um, what's so special about the American Angler? And he, sit, he sat me down and he said this. He said, son. There are two things about the American Angler that will make me want to go back. One, amazing service, and two, they treat you like family. And with that, I want to thank you guys for our last trip for making such amazing memories with me and my dad. Wow. Oh, that's oh, that's really Ryan. great. And, and we, we got to watch you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. And that, well said. And that's, that's awesome, exactly man. What it is. Yeah, for How old sure. do you know, Ryan? 22. Ryan? 22. You're not 22. No, 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 no. no. How, how old were you when you first went on the American Angler? Eight, ten. Um, eight, yeah. Either I eight remember, years I, old. Wow. I remember your first trip. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Wow. That is cool. So fired up. Was, uh, <laughs> that's yeah, you and your dad are pretty special, too, and your grandpa. That's awesome. Great. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way, including the catch report. We're going to got all kinds of great info. I want to remind you, this portion of the show, sponsored in part by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. This is the last weekend to get their great specials while supplies last at their Old Town location. The famous $25 lunch bag special, the Wiggle Tail Pet Treats are three for $25. Their famous rubs are three for $20 or ten for 60 You can get six of their delicious smoke. Smoked cheeses for only $30 plus a free lunch bag and a pound of smoked fish, three packs of tuna jerky, and three packs of smoked cheese. All of that for $55. Wow. The sale ends tomorrow, so get it at uh, Fisherman's Processing at their new Taylor Street location in Old Town in San Diego. And I have a, a little addendum to that. I talked to Sean yesterday, and sadly, the uh, Instagram account that Fisherman Processing used to get the word out a lot yeah. of time got hacked and uh, held for ransom. Oh, come and on. And they're not going to pay the ransom, of course. Uh, and so they had to switch their Instagram. They have 20,000 followers on their Instagram. They had to switch their Instagram. Oh, so the real Fisherman's Processing is their new Instagram. So if you were on their previous Instagram, okay. uh, it's now the the real Fisherman's Processing is their new Instagram. So what a bunch of uh, BS. Yeah, so, um, and, and good for them for not... Yeah, and totally. Off some some jerk. Anyway, uh, the real fisherman's processing on in- Instagram is the new deal there. All right. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup, including catching with the catch report. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California sport fishing voice on the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors, it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pockets. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment at the very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-BAHA. And RanchoLandArrow.com. It's unique. 
it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Shimano has done it again. An amazing lever drag two-speed reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2, the extremely durable high-performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth ultra-wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish-fighting machine. Its rigid Hagani body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. Plus, a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20, and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at a more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and dependability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. The future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade. So swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. 